Hello everyone, Meisering here. And we're trying this flimsy floor mod again. It's... So far I've had fun with it. I mean, I've only played it once, but... Yeah, it destroys the floor whenever I walk off of a square. Uh, I found out that... That pawn promotion... That pawns can promote... Oh, are we gonna go for a secret ending again? Yeah, sure, let's go for it. That pawns can promote on any square as long as there's um, drawing a total blank right now. If there's an empty square behind it, even though it's not the eighth rank or the first rank. Anyway. Oh yeah, one thing I found out was that I can just that I can walk off of a square. And if the destruction of the square gets me out of check, then I'm good. Also, the uh, <laughs> the destroyed squares don't reset at the start of the Black Bishop fight. Um, I don't think Rightful Curtsy is very good. I think so. I'll take Welcome Gift and Ruins. You know, Brooks having less health. Yeah, rooks have three health, so I can one-shot them. Excellent. Let's just clear everything out, I guess. Yeah, so the, the, the fact that, uh... The... All the destroyed squares at the start of the Dark Bishop fight were still destroyed. Made that fight a lot harder. Um, okay. Oh, since I have Welcome Gift, I want to be a little bit more careful with how I start sh when I start shooting. Usually you just want to like start shooting as soon as you can get reasonable shots, but you know, I only got one chance to give my welcome gift so I gotta make it count. Alright, I wanna I want a queen soul. Give me that. Give me that queen soul. Okay. Um okay. Alright, now I can trap this bishop. <laughs> now it can't possibly escape even if I give it a whole bunch of turns. Oh man. So is Royal Loafers powerful enough to take Witch's Curse? Or do I want to take just two nothing cards? Hmm. Witch's Curse will reduce my damage down to three until I kill a queen. Yeah, you know, I think it's so powerful that I'll do it. I also don't think it matters too much because my build is pretty strong already. Um, okay. Alright, our, our firepower is back to normal. Oh, it's gonna get a lot harder to use Taunting Hop when a bunch of squares are destroyed. Alright. Well, that bishop is unable to move for the rest of the level, so that's, that's funny. Oh, right, the freaking promotion square. Alright, get out of here. Do I want just more strength? And the Sacred Crown is really good. I'm going to take it. Okay. Let's, um... Oh, I want to be careful not to destroy too many, uh... Too many squares this high up early in the level. Because, like, look, this pawn's going to promote now. Unless I am willing to use Sacred Crown to prevent that. Which I guess I am. We do three damage now because Witch's Curse. Uh, actually, if I... Hmm. This pawn's going to promote if I hop. So maybe this wasn't a good plan. Okay, well, whatever. 
All right. So we're safe here for now. I need to make sure I kill this pawn. So it doesn't promote. And... Yeah, I could hop up here and then stray fire at the rook. Alright. Um, now what? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, man. What if I rook move to the right and then taunting hop on the uh, bishop and then shoot the bishop? I've destroyed so many squares. All right. Oh, I can go over here now. Yeah, I can get the the taunting hop with the the royal loafers. Then I have to move, use the soul card to get out of trouble, which is fine. Right, I forgot about that. All right, well, we get a queen soul now. We finally get to deactivate our witch's curse. Let's go. Do full damage. Um, all right, is there any anything I need to like... Is there any way I can... Uh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this mod really, really spices up the game. So now the bishop is guarding every single entry. So I guess I just have to go around and then start shooting it. Like this. Oh, okay. You have four health. I do four damage. And... Wow. <laughs> okay, Wand of Frenzy or Wand of Gus. Well, removing a bishop with theocracy is funny. I don't know what I'm doing. I think adding six pawns is really dangerous. Oh, I, I really have to play the game in a different way. I can't go into the middle of the stage and then allow pawns to promote. Okay, you know, I, I think Wand of Frenzy is pretty good. Okay, so I'm only, well, hmm. I think I want to go one square forward. Okay. Didn't actually manage to... Hmm. So we're going to lose four damage. It's fine. So I need to make sure the pawns on... I need to make sure this pawn doesn't promote. Or at least try to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, cool. Um, I think we can kill this queen. Yeah, I can kill this queen. Alright, now we do actual... Now we do full damage again. We do we, we hit enemies for four. Wow. Yeah, revolution is one of those things that seems. Well, pawns seem way more dangerous in this in this mod. All right, let's get rid of this knight. And this pawn. Okay. Now, if we can just get rid of this bishop before that pawn promotes, excellent. Um, hmm. Well, okay, Sacred Crown with Succubus is, is good. And having two queens will make it easier to deactivate um, 
Witch's Curse. And I can also just deactivate Witch's Curse by hitting the waypoint. Um, although deactivating Revolution is kind of funny. Deactivating Theocracy, though, that's, that's big brain. Just get rid of the bishop, and then I have to clear out everything. Um, I don't think that's actually good big brain, but it's funny. If I deactivate Succubus, will I lose my soul slot? I feel like I will. Alright. What if I just take away one health from everything? I think I'll just do that. So this is safe. Alright. Um, okay, I want to hop on this queen and then, and then shoot her, but that doesn't kill her. So I think I'll use my Wanda Frenzy just to reload so I can take two shots. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and the, and the, and the, the, the pawn promoted to a rook. All right. Um... I don't want to kill this pawn this turn, because then the knight will... Actually, I could just end the, the level. That seems pretty good. So yeah, Corner Despot does not work on just random squares in the middle of the board. Sadly. But it still might be good. If I just want to go... If I just want to use a bishop soul to move to the, like, the left or right edge. Um, yeah, then Corner Despot will give me that firepower boost that I desperately need. Let's go for it. Alright. Um, let's see if we can... I don't know. Okay. Let's deactivate... I just want to deactivate Witch's Curse. That card makes my life a lot harder. Alright. So now we have... I have a Queen Soul and a Knight Soul for maximum flexibility. We do 6 damage. So we can one-shot Queens. Um, you know what we can do? We can just Wanda Frenzy and... One shot the queen, and then one shot the rook. There we go, that, that turned out well for us. Okay, so I'm curious if the edge of the board... Well... Like, if I remove an entire edge of the board, will the next edge become the new edge of the board? Probably not. I don't think I need to bother testing that. Pretty silly. Just eliminate every single pawn. Ah, you can't even attack me. But I guess now I might as well... I might as well try this, even though I know it's not going to do what I want it to do. Like, look, my firepower is still four, even though I'm on the edge of the board. On the new edge of the board. Um, okay. Whatever, we can shoot over the, the gap, so we're fine. Alright. Remove a bishop. Oh, we have... I was like, oh, I could just remove every single bishop. Okay, well, let's just... Um, I think Ascension would actually be super dangerous, so we're not taking Ascension. Also, being able to ramp up my firepower even a little bit more would be pretty neat. Um, let's, try, let's try deactivating Revolution. Yeah, look at it. Look at all those pawns that don't exist anymore. Too bad for them. Um, okay. And I have Sacred Crown, so I'm not actually scared of this situation. I knew I was going to be in this situation. I'm not scared of it because of Sacred Crown. If I go here... Okay, that did nothing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
All right. I'll just angle my shot a little bit upward. Okay. I have faith in my ability. Oh, I don't even need to have faith. I can just be the queen soul and replace it. But yeah, now my now my attack damage is back up to a good number. Oh, that was <laughs> I've destroyed so much of the board in just 10 turns. All right. Well, um I could strafe fire with a like a night soul so that I can get this bishop out of here before, before it moves, but nah, I don't need to do that. Alright. Yeah, because I can just just move and then shoot it. Alright. Um, I kind of don't want Iron Maiden. Oh, <laughs> Iron Maiden with Witch's Curse? Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, Bishop's minus one health. Okay. Slightly better than when you just have a king. Oh yeah, now queens aren't actually like aren't actually dangerous at the beginning. It's just reduce all their health. Right, we, right. Well, they it's the same number of health. They didn't reduce. They didn't increase the number of health on the board. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. All right, minus one health. Oh, this pawn's gonna promote if I uh, if I don't shoot it on the way out. All right. All right, firepower is back to normal. Everything's great. Uh, what if I just? Get rid of the king and not even worry about this half of the board. Well, there we have it. So, yeah. Super dangerous mod. You just, you can get yourself soft locked or you just, or just checkmated or in creative new ways. <laughs> and pawn promotion is a big deal um, and you get cover you can shoot over the you can shoot over the pit but enemies cannot attack over the pit unless they're knights or ascension bishops yeah silly mod I had fun I'll probably play it a little bit more so yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you next time